Ocean radios are some of the best in the market, known for their reliability and advanced features. Whether you're a casual user or a professional, Ocean has something for everyone. Today, I'll walk you through the top five Ocean radios. We'll begin with an FRS radio that's rugged, feature-packed, and ready to use without a license. Next, I have a standout GMRS radio that offers superb performance and an intuitive interface. Then, we'll move on to a premium handheld ham radio with impressive quad-band capabilities. Following that, we'll look at an excellent cross-band repeater radio known for its build quality and versatility. And finally, we'll cover a top-tier mobile GMRS radio with unmatched features and performance. All the details, including prices and links for these radios, are in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. So let's get started. Best FRS Oshan Radio Oshan KG805F Oshan KG805F is a standout FRS radio that's both rugged and feature-packed. If you've been using those flimsy consumer-grade walkie-talkies and need an upgrade, this might be the radio for you. First off, it is FCC approved for FRS use, which means it's completely legal to use in the U.S. without a license. That's a big plus for anyone who wants a hassle-free, high-quality communication device. Unlike the KG805G, which requires a GMRS license, the KG805F is ready to go out of the box, making it perfect for both casual users and businesses. One of the standout features of the KG805F is its professional-grade build. This isn't your average toy walkie-talkie. It's built to the standards of expensive commercial radios offering excellent durability and audio quality. It's IP55 rated for dust and water resistance, so it can handle tough environments, whether you're on a construction site or hiking a rugged trail. The KG805F comes with all 22 FRS channels and 155 CTCSS, DCS, privacy tones and codes. You can set these tones separately for transmit and receive which adds a layer of flexibility not found in cheaper models. This radio also boasts a full 2 watts of transmit power, the maximum allowed for FRS radios, ensuring you get the best range possible. Now let's talk about usability. The KG805F features a backlit LCD display with three color options, which you can customize based on whether you're transmitting, receiving, or on standby. The front panel keys are also backlit and voice prompts help you navigate the menus easily. This is a huge step up from the basic screens on many other FRS radios. One of the more unique features is the built-in FM radio, covering 76 to 108 MHz. This is great for listening to your favorite stations while you're out and about. Additionally, the radio includes a transmit overtime alarm, low-voltage prompt, channel name editing, and Vox for hands-free operation. Battery life is another strong point. The KG805F comes with a 7.4-volt, 1700 mAh lithium-ion battery pack, which provides many hours of operation. There's also an optional 2600 mAh high-capacity battery pack if you need even more uptime. Power saver mode helps conserve battery life, ensuring you can use the radio for extended periods without needing a recharge. When it comes to accessories, the KG805F doesn't disappoint. It's compatible with a wide range of accessories from the Oshan 805 series and other models like the KG805G, KG805M, KGUV60, and KGUVD1P. Whether you need battery packs, cases, earpieces, or headsets, you'll find something that fits your needs. This cross-compatibility is a major advantage over other brands. In terms of performance, the KG805F shines with its Super Heterodyne receiver, which provides superior reception compared to cheaper single-chip designs. This makes a noticeable difference in clarity and range, especially in challenging environments. Overall, the Oshun KG805F is an excellent choice for anyone looking for a durable, high-quality and feature-rich FRS radio. Its professional-grade build, extensive feature set, and accessory compatibility make it stand out. Priced at around $90, it's a worthwhile investment for both personal and professional use. Best GMRS 
Oshan Radio, Oshan KG Q10G. Performance, style, good user interface, and ease of use, all compact neatly in the Oshan KG Q10G GMRS radio, thus making it our choice for the best overall GMRS radio. It's a relatively new model that's rich in features and implements them quite well. Oshan has maintained its focus on quality and aesthetics. The radio is available in four colors, has a bright colored display and a generally pleasing aesthetic. On top of that, you can set up color themes to match your preference. It sounds a bit gimmicky at first, but upon use, I found these themes likable and a nice touch. The large display has room to show and monitor two channels at a time. Since this is a super heterodyne radio, this is true monitoring. Building on that, the radio has two PTT buttons on its side, followed by two customizable action buttons. These features are a slight departure from conventional Oshan models like the KG UV9G series. While the quality of the transceiver remains the same, the focus on design and appearance is a welcome touch. Additionally, the KG Q10G is also a proving ground for newer modules like GPS and improvements in UI. On the other side of the radio, there's a flap that hides a USB-C connector for charging the battery. You can use a USB-C charging cable though it's not included in the box. What is included is the conventional cradle charger that takes its sweet time powering the 3000 mAh battery, though it's better for battery life. A little above this is another flap, secured by screws. That's where you can connect external speakers and programming cable. The reason for these flaps is that this is an IP67 dustproof and waterproof device and can survive being submerged in water. It is programmable via Woshun's software, though a fair bit can be handled directly through the radio. The user interface is simple and intuitive. There are two menus here. The first opens up the simple, most used functions, while the second menu takes you to all the available options. Another cool feature here is the built-in GPS. It tracks its position and can send and receive GPS data from other Q10 series radios. If it has GPS coordinates from another radio, it can show their presence relative to your own position on the screen. However, its limited compatibility and inability to show GPS data on a smartphone limits what could otherwise have been a remarkable addition. The reception capabilities here are phenomenal. Apart from the GMRS band, it can receive NOAA channels and sound weather alerts, CB radio transmissions in AM and FM, airband in AM, and more. Since the receiver goes all the way from 76 megahertz to 999 MHz, it does a good job at outclassing competition like the BTEC GMRS Pro. BTEC is no match to the super heterodyne receiver, the polished user interface, and overall better quality of Oshun. However, BTEC does score a few points with Bluetooth smartphone connectivity and a more attractive pricing. Though all that innovation and development is worthy of praise, the radio doesn't forget to include and improve upon conventional features as well. So the RF output power gets up to 6 watts coupled with 4 TX power levels, and it offers conventional features like Roger Beep, Vox, Talk Around, CTCSS, DCS, both standard and non-standard. It's repeater capable. It has 999 memory channels, programming options, repeat DT keys, and more. Overall, Oshun KG Q10G is a wonderful high-end GMRS radio with great build quality and features. It's suitable for just about anyone, as long as you can justify the high price tag. Best Oshun Handheld Ham Radio Oshun KG Q10H A large battery, tough build, and quad band TX make the new Oshun KG Q10H a great choice as a premium handheld ham radio. This HT builds on the quality and success of previous Oshan radios and is a general improvement on several features. However, it did run into problems early on, with many units showing spurious emissions. The company was quick to react and these problems have been fixed since. With that out of the way, it's only natural that the other features and options here get their time to shine. And the most notable feature on that list is the quad band TX capability. It can work on the 70 centimeter, 1.25 meter, 2 meter, and 6 meter bands. That's impressive, even though it doesn't have a quad band antenna. Instead, it comes with two antennas, one for 2 meter and 70 centimeter bands, the other for 1.25 meter and 6 meter bands. You'll have to switch antennas depending on the bands you want to use. 
It's a pain, but could be worth the trouble for quad band use, especially for a prepper scenario. Oshan's well-liked super heterodyne receiver also fits in perfectly for this niche. The high-quality receiver offers good audio quality, plus real dual watch and scanning capabilities. RX capabilities of the HD go beyond the four bands for TX and include commercial FM. NOAA weather channels, along with weather alert features, with its received capabilities going from 50 MHz to 999 MHz, except unavailable bands. Interestingly, while this is an FM radio, it will receive airband transmissions as well, even though they're in AM. Another likable feature is the rugged build quality exemplified by its IP67 rating. This means the HT is dustproof and waterproof, capable of being submerged in water up to 1 meter deep for 30 minutes. Moving on, Ocean's new interface and usability features for Q-Series devices are available here. One such feature is the dual menu, where a single press lands you into a small menu for quick settings, while press and hold takes users to a full menu with detailed settings. Cosmetic changes like display themes and multiple color options for the body are also a nice touch. Another aspect is the GPS receiver. It receives GPS data and can share location with other Q-Series radios with similar features. Users can see these GPS data and also the location of other compatible devices relative to their own location. It could be argued, though, that APRS would have been a more desirable choice rather than picking a proprietary system that has limited use. As a prepper radio, it would be only natural to compare this to another Oshun radio, the KG UV9PX, which includes pre-programmed frequencies for SHTF scenarios and a higher power output at 8 watts. KG Q10H has similar capabilities, can be easily programmed for use by preppers, and while it has lower power output, its quad band TX capabilities and relatively newer system give it a leg up. Overall, Oshun KG Q10H is a decent radio for use by preppers, though its general qualities and tough build also make it useful for all hams. Best Oshun Cross Band Repeater Radio. Oshun KG UV 9D Plus. The defining factor for Oshun radios is their quality. This one's no different. Its build quality is stunning. Though it's all plastic and rubber, it feels great in your hands and appears capable of handling some impacts. Oshun KG UV 9D Plus is a handheld transceiver with a large digital display, followed by a speaker and a keypad. The buttons are easy to work with. The backlit display shows relevant information, and the voice quality is amongst the best you'll find in an HD. The menu and various functions are very easy to access and intuitive. Even a new user can understand the functioning of this radio with relative ease. Even moving to different models, including cross-band repeat, is easy. In fact, the radio offers two options for cross-band repeat. The relevant options are available under the typeset menu. One mode is the talkie option. In this mode, the radio works as a conventional handheld transceiver. Another mode is the DIR-RPT. Here, the radio works as a directional cross-band repeater. The display will indicate that the device is in repeater mode and also that the speaker is disabled. And finally, there is the TW-RPT mode. With this selection, the HT works as a two-way cross-band repeater. The display will indicate that the device is in repeater mode and that the speaker is active. For most instances, just selecting the menu will work. However, it is necessary to set up cross-band repeat before using it. To achieve this, you'll need to use the VFO made and set the desired frequencies for cross-band in slot A and slot B through the typeset menu. The radio can receive transmissions on seven bands, though it transmits only on two bands. Users can set up some preferences and specific options by programming the radio, though the programming cable will need to be purchased separately. It has a transmit power of 5 watt high and 1 watt low, and it draws power from a 2000 mAh lithium ion battery that can be charged through the included cradle. Have in mind that there is some confusion due to some sellers suggesting that the radio battery is 3200 mAh. According to Oshun's documentation, it is 2,000 mAh. All in all, the remarkable build quality, the good audio quality, and the easy-to-use menu make an amazing choice.
Best Oshun Mobile GMRS Radio, Oshun KG-1000G+. If you want to go for the premium feel, quality, and performance, no other 50-watt GMRS radio comes close to Oshun KG-1000G+. Of course, this also means that the radio is significantly more expensive as compared to other 50-watt GMRS offerings. KG-1000G+, is the second iteration from the company in the realm of mobile GMRS transceivers, the first one being the KG-1000G. The first model was derived from the company's mobile ham radio lineup, and while it performed admirably on GMRS, it was clear that it wasn't purpose-built for GMRS. It had some menu items that went nowhere, and a few buttons that would be more relevant to ham radio, rather than to GMRS. So with the new model, the company focused on building a GMRS radio, giving it a better user interface and better GMRS performance. The changes between the models are fairly grounded, letting the new model settle more comfortably into the GMRS space. It does live up to some of the classic features and expectations from the brand, like the super heterodyne receiver, excellent UI, and quality construction. Additionally, it gets comfortable in its GMRS setting with standard and even advanced options like repeater features. Not only is this device repeater capable, but you can also connect two KG-1000G Plus radios using display connection cables and have them function as a viable GMRS repeater. That's a pretty nice touch, especially for small operations where a dedicated repeater may not be advisable. Its package includes these connection cables, so there's no need to buy additional accessories. As you can guess, this also implies that it can work as a base station. However, should you want to stay with the conventional mobile route, you'll find a good set of options. It comes with a mounting bracket for easy installation. You can also remove the faceplate and install it remotely, thus making it possible to save on installation space by keeping the transceiver out of view. An interesting touch is the presence of plates that make it possible to adjust the angle of the faceplate, or control head if you prefer. Two cables, one large and one small, are available to help with this setup. Unfortunately, there is no programming cable in the box, and it has to be purchased separately. It has a large dual-frequency display that covers most of the front of the radio, but keeps room for the important buttons and knobs. An RJ45 jack is available for the microphone, and there are more buttons on the mic for easier operation and entering the channel or frequency you prefer. Thanks to its quality construction and super heterodyne receiver, It has great audio quality on TX and RX. Also, while it works splendidly as a GMRS transceiver, the receive features go the extra mile. It can receive several frequencies, including NOAA weather channels, commercial FM radio, 70 centimeter, 2 meter, and 6 meter bands, airband with AM modulation, and a lot more. Not many radios can stack up in competition to a receiver like that including similarly priced radios like the Midland MXT500 Micro Mobile. However, Midland takes the more rugged route with IP66 rating, which means it is dustproof and water-resistant to some exposure, including heavy rain. That gives you more freedom on placing the unit, but since the faceplate is not removable, that freedom could very well be an illusion. Midland deals with this issue through a different model of this series, the MXT575. Its mic-mounted controls and display make it possible to keep the transceiver installed out of sight. However, that takes away a little of the ease of use that a large display and convenient buttons bring to the table. Midland has excellent GMRS radios, but in price to features and quality comparison, KG-1000G Plus does better in pretty much all aspects, except the IP ratings. Other notable features include four transmit power levels going all the way to 50 watt, decent built-in cooling, 999 memory channels with custom display names, a backlit keypad on faceplate and microphone, four programmable buttons on the faceplate, three color choices for the LED, and several other features. Overall, Oshun KG-1000G Plus is an excellent mobile GMRS radio that's rich in features and quality. It's suitable for users who don't mind shelling the extra bucks for better performance and options. So what do you think? Which of these is the best Oshun radio for you? Or do you think another radio from Oshun is better? Tell us in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.